warming up. And the Toowoomba local, who grew up around here at High Tech Hall's Toowoomba Speedway, with Toowoomba businesses all over the car, the SNS Generic. X Factor Plumbing, number 21 of Nick Well picks the outside. He will start from pole. We're stacked, packed and racked. 30 laps, the grand final for QSS. Ultimate Sprint Car Championship is green. We sail into one and two. They fan out across the track. Alton the cushion. The Q will lead down the back straight away for the first time. Three wide in the turns, three and four. Oh, B oh my, what a race we've got on here. There is chaos further back. And O'Connell spins to the infield. Well, Let's not that big of a racetrack. This isn't the Motorplex. This isn't Knoxville. Let's count it to one, but one, two, three, four, five. And you know what? <laughs> You reckon you nearly got six? <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. You are kidding me. Strong once again from McHugh. Morosky in second. Look at Nick Well, the local man, looking to slide up in front and take the position away from Morosky. Oldfield there in fourth. Back to Stewart. Kratzman. Back to Well in second. Here comes Oldfield. Slide job on Morosky. As Kratzman goes through Morosky here, McHugh about to be in lap traffic. Yeah, won't take long for you. And now Kratzman in the BK trading number two up to position. Number two fighting with Nick Well. Nick Well fights it. Back floats it up the track in turn two, retakes the position. Kratzman once again, big slider through the middle of the track, washes up on the fence. Slide jobs left, right and centre. Morosky is beginning to drop back through this pack. Yeah, there are slide jobs everywhere and patience will run out very, very quickly. People are going to get very cheesed off in a hurry as Kratzman now clears through to second. Oldfield goes through on Nick Well. That's for third. There you see him fight through to third position. Well trying to fight back. They're all trying to track down your leader. Look at the slider from Oldfield up to second. Kratzman's going to fight back. Nick Well goes to the top. We're nine down, 21 to run here. Western Truck Group A1 leads us to green once again. Back underway, 20 to go. Look at Kratzman go to work straight away. You've almost got to slide yourself into turn one. Oh, wow. Kratzman shuts the door on Luke Oldfield and holds on a P2. Dicing through the middle of this pack, Jesse Attard, Michael Stewart and Adam Butler. Engage in fantastic battle, but now, Jared, Lockie McHugh is faced with the biggest challenge of his night, this lap traffic. Can he get through? Hunts He needs to stay really clean here, keep the nose nice and tidy, and try and stay out of any trouble. And Aussie Corbett down and allows Luke Oldfield another look, just washes all of that speed off in turn four that time. McHugh is going to have to go through the middle, gets it done, what a move. McHugh goes three wide through the lap cars to clear them. Now muscles his way through. Kratzman trying to go with him. McHugh was sitting there fighting his time, saw the gap and shot through with three cars across the track. This guy's at the top of his game right now, but he's right with him. Here he goes, Swamba. Oldfield slides it for the lead of the race. McHugh fights back. Oldfield hits the front and leads him. Here goes Kratzman now. He'll look to the inside of the Australian champ. Lachlan McHugh has been near untouchable this year, up until now. He's had a, about a perfect record at the high banks this season. And now he's sitting in position number three in Oldfield. Oh, oh. wow. No beg your pardon. Oldfield is streaking away because McHugh had to fight his way through. We're yellow. We will go yellow as Harry Stewart is on the racetrack. Oh. And oh me, Kratzman will be absolutely living. McHugh. Corbett's group NQ10. He was walking the high side. Let's see what he's got. Up on the fence for green light action once again. Six laps remaining. McHugh on the boards. Oldfield through the middle. Kratzman on the bottom. What a tail this is turning out to be. Oldfield runs the middle of the track again. Kratzman coming off the bottom. Three different racing lines for your top three cars. And they're all closing in. 
nothing. Take nothing. Oldfield begins to slide up. Kratzman doesn't quite get the drive off of the corner. McHugh beginning to close in on these two now. Throw a blanket over your top three. With four to run, I mean three to go this time, Bob. Upstairs, Oldfield in the middle. Oh my goodness! Slide up for the lead, and Rocky McHugh goes back to the front. Oldfield bites back, two to run here, Boyne. Oldfield looks to return. Oh no! No! Oh my goodness! Peacock had spun the car in front of the leaders. The lights came on and your leader, Luke Oldfield, left nowhere to go. Jaden Peacock out of the car very quickly and straight over to Luke Oldfield. As he climbs out of the car, Toowoomba, can we have some noise for Luke Oldfield? I'm down here with Luke. Come on, Toowoomba, one more time. What a race to the front, Luke Oldfield. Hey, Luke. Dude, this is a tough deal. I, like my heart is just... That was an epic race between you, Lockie, Kratzman. Just a... That just sucks, man. Yeah, it's bloody devastating, mate. Uh, I just didn't see Peacock to the last minute. It was just black upside down at the top there, and I was like, oh last minute and I was just trying to get on the gas and just made it worse so big thanks to my crew all year they're putting in a great effort um, can't thank you enough big thanks to mum and dad and wife and kids for supporting us um, all the sponsors that come on this year and helped us here and on the west coast I was trying so hard to beat Lockie on that last one I know mate and honestly the effort you put in the fact that you get out of this car every time thank your sponsors I know you are gutted right now and you said hey let's run we'll have a chat to one more can we have some noise one more time for Luke Oldfield Dude, they love you here. They love you. And I know you've got a massive fan base. That just sucks to end it like that. But you had a great race at the front here. Yeah, it was a great race. Um, you know, whoever wins, it was a great battle until we ended it. But uh, just wanted to beat Lockie. But uh, that wasn't to be. And, uh, yeah, we put it to him pretty good. And, uh, yeah, second all year to him. And it's just, just getting a bit frustrating. So, uh, but anyway, we're nearly there. Just got to come back and refresh next year. So close, Luke Oldfield. Let's go to the Dondex replay and see how that one unfolded. Holy smokes, Toowoomba. So this is the battle for the lead. They are throwing sliders at each other everywhere, and the car upside down rolls, yellows, reds, and Oldfield left nowhere to go. A hush falls over high-tech oils, Toowoomba Speedway. We're about to push these cars away. There's three to go. And at the restart, your guess is as good as mine. I've got no idea what's going to happen. We go back a lap. It looks as though Craftsman may restart in the lead here. We got replays from all sorts of angles. Production team did an amazing job all night long. Even on the drone. There you see Peacock stopped. Oh. And the lights we saw in the first replay, we saw the lights come on red as soon as Peacock's upside down. That's what happens when stuff is going so fast in these sprint cars out here. Just happens, click of the fingers, and you are on top of another car. And it's really interesting what Luke Oldfield said about the black car being up near the fence. There is plenty to play out. Kratzman goes early with three to run. The ultimate sprint car championship for Queensland Speedway's fans back and away. McHugh rips the top. Kratzman on the bottom. Here we go, Boydie. Oh, they slide through turns three and four. Side by side, Kratzman will get the drive. Two to go. Kratzman back down low. Look at Mick Hugh on the top. The run he gets off of two is insane. One more try through three and four closing down now. White flag is out. Last run the night for Mick Hugh. He's going to stay the top. He's going to throw the bomb into three and four this time. Mick Hugh goes to the outside and goes to the lead. Are you kidding me? We're yellow. <laughs> we are yellow. We're red. And on upside down. Was the craziest finish ever incoming, and Adart is upside down on the main straight away. I'm done. I haven't got any more. You can't make this up, can you? What is happening? That was the craziest finish incoming, and we go red with Jesse Adart upside down in turn four. 
He's fired up. He's wanting to throw hands here. Corbett's out of the car and he's fired up. There's officials between them. Don't do anything silly, boys. They are absolutely at each other's throat here. They're racing for 15th and 16th or something like that. And they are off the limiter. Plenty to play out here. You see the track officials there with Jesse saying, don't do anything silly. Andrew Corbett being told just to stay beside his car as well. We were off the Richter scale at the front of the field. I've got no idea what's happened in turn four. And the checkered flag and red flag may be about to be displayed here. So a word coming through, feature race declared, and your leader at the last completed lap was Brent Kratzman. The BK trading number two gets a win. Holy smokes, you have been fast here for a long time. That was a long time coming. Brent Kratzman, this thing has been impressive this season, but that's a feature race win to the Q2. That's impressive. Yeah, that's, it's, the night started off pretty good in um, time trials, and it's a brand-new car we've just built. And um, the arm on the front was a straight arm instead of a bent arm, so that's why I was spinning out in the heat race, as you've seen earlier in the night. And we got our shit together, and here we are. Big thanks to... Um, my regular guy, he got sick today, so Brody Kostecki stepped in as my crew chief tonight with um, Brady and um, Jordan there. And, you know, big shout out to those guys and all to all Brody Tullock's boys who are getting my car ready all the time. It couldn't happen without all those guys. I wouldn't be here. So just massive big thanks and big thanks to Rhino and Sharon for the job they do here. The place is immaculate and a big crowd. A heck of a crowd, and they've just watched a heck of a sprint car race. Yourself, Oldfield, McHugh, you're throwing haymakers at each other. This thing was on the top of the fence, diamonding to the bottom, back to the top. You're the only one that could make that line work. This thing ran completely different. Anyone else out, out there in that feature race? I don't know what they did, but anyway, it gave me a hell of a car, and I'm happy with it. Mate, this is a long time coming. Heck of a feature race win tonight. Grand final for the QSS Ultimate Sprint Car, sprint car Championship. It was probably going to be my ra last race forever tonight, but I guess I'm coming back next season. <laughs> Kratzman, maybe, maybe just pulls out of retirement. He gets the win in tonight's feature race. Holy smokes, what a drive. And how about this guy? We're going to pull him up here. What a final lap. Come on, Toowoomba, how about some noise? The Aussie champ, Lockie McHugh. Lockie, mate, forget the week you've had. I know that's been garbage. I know there's been plenty of stuff said about the week that you've had. You came here tonight, put on a show. That final lap, you race with Luke. Heck of a display, man. Like, you just love this place. The racing is cool here, and you put on a show every time for this crowd on the hill. Yeah, I was probably um, driving a bit too safe um, throughout the race, and, and Luke and um, Brent got past, and then, yeah, sort of stepped it up again, and then, uh, but, yeah, just got unlucky every time. Got sort of the leader, another caution would come out. So, um, but, yeah, congrats to Brent and those... And